everyone, it's Lynn from Contenta Crafts. Welcome to my channel today and thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing some projects using washi tape. Now, I did use some washi tape in my previous video to make some cards. So if you haven't already watched that, please do check that out. So today I have got um, a few things that I'd like to pop the washi tape onto. So to get started, you will need some washi tape. Now I am using the pack that I bought from Home Bargains, which was a pack of five different patterned washi tapes. So they go along the blue and green line this one here has a little hint of sort of pinky purple color in there and i'm also going to use my pink tapes as well um i've pulled these out ready if you're wondering why they're looking a bit like that i've just pulled them out so i've got them ready for the projects so this is what we're going to use today um, I haven't prepared anything, so what you will need is definitely your washi tapes, um, a coat, you need your scissors and a bone folder. I've also got a pencil as well today and a couple of other things that I'll show you as we go along. So I've already cut my tape. So I'm using the blues to start with for the coaster. And I'm starting with one of the thicker pieces and I'm just going to pop this to the edge of the coaster like that. Now then, I suggest if you are using a coaster, mine's got a little bit beveled. So what I've done is I've sort of sanded it down a little bit just to try and take the um, lumps and bumps out of it and make the surface more flat. So I'm starting with this one and then I'm going to pop another thick piece across. and. You all you need to do is just put this piece up to the previous piece, like so. Then I'm going to use a glitter. So that is the thinner one. Just pop that on like so. And I will do this all the way up the coaster. So the last colour that I'm bringing in is this one here. And then what I'm going to do is just repeat the same all the way up the coaster. So I will start with another piece of this and put that up. So I'll just Pop off camera and get this finished. Okay, so we should have something like this. Now, what I like to do next is, with my bone folder, I just like to rub over all of the pieces of washi tape, just to give it a nice bond to the poster. You could always, pop a thin layer of glue on the back of the washi tape if you find um, yours doesn't have a lot of sticky and just to give it a little bit extra security like so. I would also recommend that you use some kind of sealer because if you are popping hot drinks onto the coaster the tape will probably just lift away from the coaster so well. So now once we've um, used the bone folder to stick everything down, 
what I do next is come in with my scissors and just cut away all the pieces of the washi tape up the side of the coaster like so. Getting as near as you can. In fact, I am going to use my big scissors. So get as close as you can to the edge of the coaster there. So once we've cut all of the pieces off, what I like to do is just go across again with my bone folder just to make sure none of the pieces have lifted from the edge of the coaster. I've also got a little emery board and just gone lightly round the sides so you don't scrape your coaster just to maybe catch any little pieces that might be left over where the scissors didn't quite catch it. And then what I'm going to do is bring my Mod Podge in. So this is the Mod Podge Gloss Luster. So it says it's a water-based glue, sealer and finish. So I'm going to pop a couple of coats of, well, one, at the moment, we'll pop a little coat first of all over the top, just a thin layer into the top of the tapes here. Another idea when you've done your couple of coats of sealer is get yourself a little ink pad. And I'm using a Versa Magic Cloud White. And what I've done is popped the ink pad around the side of the coaster. Either dry it with your heat tool or just let it dry, air dry. And you could go all around with your ink. And I suggest you do maybe build, you know, build the ink up around so that the coaster, the wooden part, doesn't show through underneath. And isn't that absolutely gorgeous when it's all finished? It's really, really pretty. So for the next one, I've got a couple of battery operated tea lights. And we're going to pop some washi tape around the tea lights. So, got a couple of ideas for these. First of all, it's just plain and simple. I'm going to pop the glitter tape on. And all I'm going to do is just pop that around like so into the middle and there's one little idea that will take your tea light from just plain to a little bit sparkly you could also use the thicker tape up this which is more or less the thickness of a little candle and take that all the way around that like that so there you have your two different ideas there and another idea is we could just peel this off one moment and line that up right at the bottom there then you could then get your glitter piece and have a two-tone 
handle like this. So you've got that one like that. You've got the glitter one. And I'll just actually grab one more. So you have your three different ideas there. One with the two pieces of washi tape, one with just one of the thicker tapes, and one just around the middle of the little tea light. So that is those. So now on to a candle. Now, if you're going to do this, please use a battery operated candle, not one that you light. Mine is just for the purpose of the video. When I do it, I will be buying a battery operated one to pop the washi tape around. Don't ever use a one with a real flame. Just a couple of ideas for this. Just some simple ideas. We can pop. Just some washi tape around like that and strip like so. Another idea we could do is just take the tape, make that like that. We could go around with some um, I'll use the same one or well, we could do that. We could pop that all the way around, then finish with that one at the bottom. So that is the idea with the large candle. You could also I'll just peel these off because I'm going to show a few ideas. Another couple of ideas would be where you would go around the candle with the tape like so. Again, I haven't gone all the way around. It's just to give you some ideas there. And one of the last ones you could do is just a very simple Glitter tape just to zhuzh it up. You could also pop a one around just at the bottom. So you could have your two lots of tape like so, and maybe pop a nice um, little sentiment in the middle. If you were doing it for Christmas, you could say a Merry Christmas. So that's just a couple of ideas with a battery operated pillar candle. Another, another lovely idea is to get yourself a little peg and cover the peg with the washi tape. Now I've covered the little metal piece, but on this side, if you wanted, you could leave that as a little feature and pop one piece of your washi tape at the bottom like so and then take your next piece and just pop it like that and cut it off like so and then what I tend to do is just tuck it over at either side trim off the excess at the top or took it round. Now, if you've got a little metal notice board, what you could do is pop um, a little magnet onto the back and stick that to your notice board with little reminders and things like that. So there's another little idea. And the last one that I'd like to do to decorate a pencil. So I've just got myself a plain pencil and I'm going to do a nice, I think, let me see, I think I will go for a nice blue one. So 
or my favorite glue one is this one so what i'm going to do is measure out roughly the length of the pencil and i'm just going to chop a piece off so just cut it straight across like so and what you will do is so if like mine you've got the little metal piece and a rubber on the end take your pencil line it up under the piece of metal and bring it down and start sticking the first side down like so and then wrap it around the pencil as we go just before we stick the bottom down grab your scissors and just chop a little piece off to start with at the bottom cut mine a little bit too short but you get the idea and just take that down like so all the way try not to crease it as we go maybe stick one side first and then wrap it around and stick the other side so you should have that and obviously if you don't have a thick enough washi tape then get your piece for the back round like so one side down and then you could stick the other side down bring it all the way down the pencil like so and just wrapping as we go like that yeah so there you have your lovely pencil obviously you can get wider washi tapes than this so if you've got a wider one it will probably go all the way around the pencil but doesn't that really look pretty so there's just a few ideas on how to use your washi tape so we've got the lovely coast we have got the little tea lights there we've also got the candle also a lovely pencil there so I hope I've given you some inspiration today and I hope you've really enjoyed my video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be ever so grateful if you could do this for me. It would really help me out. Um, please join me on another video. I will be back again very soon. In the meantime, take care and bye-bye for now.